Welcome to 31st of Mars Goyle Blessing. Now we generally make a mood swing happen when we are looking at something very good or something very which is very bad. That means we can make ourselves swing in the swing of mood swings by observing. That's it. And you don't even need to react to it. First, observance itself makes us think either good or bad. And that is the main thing which removes our cheerfulness or takes away our complete happiness and cheerfulness. So let's get into this beautiful Vardhan of Godfather. He says in this blessing, May you constantly be an image of cheerfulness and stay beyond any attraction of good or bad with your sanskars of easiness. Now easiness is easy to say, but it is something which needs to be practiced on a daily basis and every day a situation arises in front of you where you need to make a decision and you can be uptight in that decision or you can be relaxed in that decision. It's not about being totally uptight or totally too relaxed. It's the middle path over here, the neutral way. So God here says, make your sanskars, that means your habits so easy that you remain easy while performing every task. You can be in a team, you can be you know, on a, in an organization where there's a team, you can be in a family organization, your own family as a team and you can perform every task by being either uptight and make everybody else also feel very tight and you know you can make people feel like okay I am paralyzed in thinking I don't know whether should I do this or whether should I do that that's not easy you see so you have certain people in your life could be your family members could be your uh, colleagues and could even be your friends or your boss and they make you feel so paralyzed in your thinking that you don't know whether you should move forward or you should go backward, you should go left or right, whether you should pick up or you should leave it. So you're paralyzed in making any decisions and that is where your cheerfulness and their cheerfulness is gone. So God says if your sanskars are tight, circumstances will also become tight and you will then have tight interactions in your relationship and connection. You'll be all very, very serious and that's where it becomes difficult for people around you to move around, to be easy, to be happier. Tight means to be caught in a struggle. You see, you have people sometimes and you're doing something, they're like, mm -mm, not like that. And they're like, mm -mm, don't pick up like that. And you're like, uh, okay, should I move or not move? Should I do or not do? So it's like not being easy. It's like being very, very critical about everything which a person does. And sometimes this kind of problem comes with people who want perfection in Kali Yuga. There is no such thing as perfection in Kali Yuga. If you are perfect within, then things outside also are asked to be perfect. But are you really perfect within? Don't you make mistakes? Ask yourself, yourself that question. And most important mantra over here, which we learn is that the more you look and in, look into other people's mistakes, there will be one day that you will be doing the same mistakes. Check it out. It's going to happen to you. So God says, tight means to be caught in a struggle. Therefore, with sanskars, that means habits of easiness and observing every scene of the drama. It's like somebody is doing good, somebody is doing bad. Okay, you can tell them that, you know, don't do like this. Just remove those things. Second time, they might again repeat it out of fear. Third time, they might repeat it because of their own stage of consciousness. Or maybe they're going through their own struggles in life, problems in life, and they're not able to register everything which you say, and they don't do it. Can happen, right? Can happen to you also, right? So, stay beyond any attraction of good or bad. That means you're neutral. You're completely neutral. You're not going either into very high voltage of excitement and then very low voltage of sadness. Do not let any goodness or anything bad attract you. Attract you means what? Good things attract us, right? How can bad things attract us? Bad things can make you engaged into them. That is also in a form of attraction. They can attract you. You will then remain cheerful. That means you are neutral. It's not like when people are doing wrong, you don't say anything. When people are doing something great, you, you don't cheer them up. It's not that. It's about being neutral. Where if something is going very bad, you are trying to guide them, but not with force, not with uh, uneasiness, not by manipulation, not by push and pull. You're doing it in a very easy manner. That means you're not uptight within yourself. You're just doing it in a very relaxed manner. 
in a very polite, kind, generous manner. Just check it out again, see if that thing is happening again. Just have a look at it. Guide them like this. What are you doing? Oh, I told you, na? Not this way. See, that is an uptight way. I hope you can understand the difference. You must have observed the same things happening in your life. In your family members around, with your companies where you're working, in your business organizations, if you're uptight, then people around you are going to make more mistakes, by the way. So become easier, become lighter, so that you can help everybody around you to be lighter. To learn more about this, become soul conscious. And you can only become soul conscious when you come to Brahma Kumaris and learn the art of soul consciousness. Shanti is this.